I'm Pastor Jay Zachary. It's March 22nd, 2012. Is California still here? All right, I haven't done, haven't done this in a while. I'm going to try not to lose it today. Are you ready? Good morning, YouTube. Good afternoon, YouTube. Good evening, YouTube. Depends what time of day you're watching this video. Or like the 188-day earthquake cycle. Depends what part of the world you're living. If you're on the other side of the world, it might be good evening. It might be, it might be the next day. Okay, I'm going to touch on the 188-day earthquake cycle. Here it is, the 22nd. And uh, is California still here? I, I, I haven't checked. I want to touch on uh, the Million Hooding March, the Trayvon Martin, and this George Zimmerman character. But first, let's have our coffee. Now, now what do you think? I think it, I think it's coming in pretty. I, I like it. I like it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try not to lose it today. I really am. Let's have our coffee. Haven't done a good morning YouTube in a while. The 188 day earthquake cycle. I stand by my video that I put out yesterday. It doesn't hold. It ended September 15, 2011 with the Fiji quake. There was no major shifting of the earth axis. No million, million, billion dollars in collateral damage. No loss of life. No major, major weeks, months of cleanup. That's when it ended. And I know some are saying, well, the planets are in alignment. Yeah, they were in alignment with Elliman, too. Now, we had the Mexico quake, 7.9. Everyone's saying it holds. It stands. It holds. Okay. Let me let me uh, run this by you. 7.9 downgraded to 7.4. It didn't fall on the, within the 188-day earthquake cycle, 189. 186 days or 87. But that's beside the point. Once again. It did not hold. No, President Obama's daughter was there and thank, uh, I thank God that she was okay and she was fine. Once again, the earth did not shift off its axis. There was not millions and millions of dollars in damage, no collateral damage, no loss of life. And I, you know, there was a little bit of damage, but not millions and millions of dollars and no massive cleanup for months and months and months. Um, and 11 people were injured. Now, that I do uh, admit to, but again, it doesn't hold. The earth didn't move off its axis. Now, 11 people were injured. Now, maybe they, they were running out of their offices during their um, earthquake drill while Hart was playing with their toys. Now, okay, more coffee. I'm, I'm trying not to lose it. Maybe they were oh, running out of the building. Maybe they stumbled or something during their planned organized earthquake drill while heartless. Well, let's test this uh, out today. Coffee. Now, finally, I want to run this by you. All, all you that believe it stands, the planets were in alignment perfectly. They were in alignment perfectly with Elenin. Okay, with that said, just say, just say for a matter of discussion, there was no earthquake on the 20th. Uh, no 7.9, 7.44 earthquake in Mexico City. Didn't happen. Now, we have on uh, the 21st, the 6.6 earthquake in Papua New Guinea. The Mexico quake never happened. 6.6 .6 in Papua New Guinea. What do you think would be going around YouTube? Oh, prophecy, prophecy, it's biblical, it's biblical, I tell you, it, 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 it's Bible prophecy, it holds, it holds, it holds, I told you I was going to lose it, if there was never a, a Mexico City quake, the Papua New Guinea 6.6, Bible prophecy, Bible prophecy, Bible prophecy, it holds, it's a sign, it ended on September 15, 2011, Fiji. It didn't hold. Even the Papua New Guinea, the earth did not shift. Off its axis, no damage, no cleanup. More coffee. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in rare form today. Now I want to get serious.
I'm going to touch on this Trayvon Martin. And what I know about this incident, this Zimmerman character, this Barney Fife, this cop wannabe, the security guard that was stalking this young man. Because he, he was black, a young 17-year-old boy with Skittles in his pocket. With Skittles in his pocket. Now, he is one of these uh, neighborhood watch characters that probably is unemployed. I'm just assuming. I don't know. I have all the facts. But he is playing Robocop in his vehicle or on foot. I've got one in my neighborhood I'm going to tell you about in a moment. So he sees this uh, young uh, black teenager in a predominantly white, I don't know the area, if it's all white in a gated community or if it's a predominantly white neighborhood. So he has a suspicion and he starts following this young man. Um, and I, I did hear the 911 call. He was on the phone with the 911 officer and saying, no, a suspicious young black man. And, and the, uh, the police officer asked him, uh, are you following him? Yeah, I'm following him. Don't do that. They told him, stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. But he did anyway. The young man, not, he's not bothering anybody. Um, he's on the phone. He's getting worried with his girlfriend. And this character, Barney Fife, decides to chase after him. He goes, he runs. I'd run too. I'd run too. So he turns around, he's on the phone with his girlfriend. The phone goes dead. Now, he's chasing so what uh, the Zimmerman, Barney Fife Zimmerman, says is he turned, he stopped, he turned, and he charged at me. I would too. If someone's chasing me, and I'm going to go in offensive mode, and I'm going to turn around just because of my training. I'm going to turn around and, what's up, man? <laughs> or I'm going to take the first wave because I'm not going to get uh, abducted or killed by this person. Now, Barney Fife, I mean Zimmerman, says he's, uh, well, he did. He had a... a the back of his head was bleeding and he had grass stain on his knees. So I guess a struggle uh, took place. Zimmerman shot him. I don't know what the law is in, in Florida where, or where this happened. But the young man was unarmed. Now I'm going to tell you a true story. we got a neighborhood watch character in our neighborhood. He doesn't work. He's, he's kind of like... A, not kept up very well. Uh, he drives an old beat up blue station wagon. He's got the yellow light zipping on top. Now when we first got this house, he was following me everywhere. I went to the store. I'm kind of new in the area. And he probably didn't know who I was. So I mean it didn't matter. Color. Now he was Hispanic. He's still, he's still around here. But he's in this old blue station wagon. He's got the yellow light flashing, which is illegal. You can't have it on as you're riding down the street, but he does. He follows me to the store. He doesn't get out of the car. He's sitting there. And this is going on for a couple of days. He's following me back home. He's riding around my house. So one day, he follows me to the store. I've, I've about had it by this time. I get out of the car, and, you know, I, tr I try to be a, a loving, uh, Pastor Dave's a very loving guy. But I finally confronted him because I felt threatened. And I felt threatened, and believe me, I was about to uh, take the rod to him, but I didn't. But that just shows you, I felt threatened this man is following me. Well, I didn't know who you are. Who are you? I just know your business who I am. <laughs> so, I mean, it happened to me. And, and it talk about racial profiling. It didn't have anything to do with color. But I believe this case did. I believe this case did. And I believe, um, I don't know if, if uh, Zimmerman is uh, Caucasian. I think he's part Hispanic. I'm not sure. I haven't followed it that much from what information I'm getting. It was terrible. But what I want to ask you, the viewer, and it's not going to bring him back. We got uh, the glorious reverend in the middle of it. We know who he is. Now we've got this organized, this million man hoodie march. Now to draw attention to what took place. The whole world knows what took place. All this is going to do in my opinion, is create racial unrest, unnecessary racial tension. Just about everyone I know, everyone I know, 
white, black, Hispanic. Times are changing. This is 2012. It's all over the news. Attention has drawn to this. And we pray, all of us, of every race, creed, and color. We pray for justice for this young man. But I think uh, organizing a march is, I don't think it was needed. I think the whole world, their attention was already drawn to this. So I want your comments. Just, um, this, I'm sorry for calling the gentleman Barney Fife. I, I apologize. I ask forgiveness. But that's, it was, I believe he was in the wrong. He needs to be brought to justice. He needs to be put in jail. He needs to get a job. A real job. Maybe in prison. Uh, if he doesn't get married in prison, he'll get uh, educated and get a job. But I don't think we need to draw any more attention to have hatred. I think a march like this is going to draw racial attention and hatred. And it's not that we need to bring attention so the world knows what happened. The whole world knows what happens on every channel. Every news story is covering it. Leave me your opinion on that. I will be back because my next video is a warning, a vision and a warning from a, a pastor. I've got a a, 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 um, a message from a viewer who sends me uh, this information of a vision and a prophetic word regarding uh, a warning of uh, destruction to come to California. Stay tuned. Don't want to miss this. Do not, do not miss this. I, you know, I get a lot of personal messages, and sometimes I, well, visions, and I don't know. This one, I was drawn to. Major, major destruction to come to California. They didn't come today. No Mexico City quake. See, it never happened. Six point six, six point six. The Papua New Guinea said it holds Bible, biblical Bible prophecy. God bless everyone. I think I need more coffee. Leave me comments.